Zone Ads World of Local Business Info Subscribe to our channel click the bell icon and select all Hi friends, this is Dr. Chetan Mahajan, Consultant Surgical Gastroenterologist, Liver and Pancreas Surgeon. Nice to see all of you on this wonderful medium. Today I am going to share a few things about what we call as hemorrhoids, also called as piles. The name itself triggers a feeling inside everyone's mind and that feeling is about being uncomfortable about it uncomfortable about being the symptoms as well as sharing it especially in our country where you know a few things are not really very comfortably discussed this is a very very common and prevalent problem i see a lot of patients who come to me within a few days of their first symptoms and i see a lot of patients who come to me who tell me that they have been suffering from this problem for two three five years time so for actually no reason, there is little bit of an uncomfortableness related to this disease. Now what happens? It simply means that a patient suffering from piles will have bleeding whenever he or she goes to pass motion. Now, this bleeding in terms of piles patient is usually painless bleeding. It will be a fresh trickle of blood associated with passage of motion and probably a few trickle of blood just after you have finished your motion and this bleeding quantity will be variable in patients where the hemorrhoids or piles is large you may have quite significant bleeding in other patients you may not have or in some patients in fact I'm sorry you may have small amount of bleeding essentially this happens because of a bunch of veins in the lower part or what we call as anal canal which get engorged and then because of some trauma of the motion passing motion and all you get bleeding a clinical a good clinician a good surgeon will diagnose hemorrhoids on clinical examination and a simple OPD procedure called proctoscopy wherein the doctor is able to see the inner lining of the anal canal and can easily identify the engorged veins. In certain patients where there can be an ambiguity or there is difficulty or you are suspecting some other associated problem, uh, endoscopy which is called sigmoidoscopy wherein a scope is passed from below and around 30 to 40 centimeters of the elementary canal or the GI tract can be examined is a simple OPD procedure which can again help you diagnose hemorrhoids. Whenever you have a diagnosis, a clinical and or endoscopic diagnosis of piles. The, depending on the stage of the disease, we can give treatment. In the sense, a grade 1 or a very small hemorrhoid usually doesn't require operation. A grade 2, grade 3 hemorrhoids, wherein the veins are engorged significantly or they are not really showing a good response to medical treatment. Now those are the patients who need an operation or surgical intervention. Surgery can be done by a conventional method <clears throat> which is time tested procedure and also now can be coupled or can be done with a laser surgery. Both surgeries require patient to be admitted for a certain amount of time they need a little bit of anesthesia, maybe a regional anesthesia and the results of both type of operations are very very encouraging and good. In an experienced hand, usually post surgery or post hemorrhoidectomy, whichever way you have undergone an operation, the patients usually respond very well. There are least complications. One most important point before I close this topic is. Patients with bleeding in motion 
can also have long standing chronic anemia wherein the hemoglobin level has actually dropped to a very critical level but because this blood loss is small amount and happening over a period of time the patients don't usually feel any difference but when you go and check the hemoglobin there may be alarming low levels of hemoglobin so these patients also required some blood transfusion before any treatment can be initiated the second important point which is very very uh, misleading is that a lot of patients believe that after undergoing a hemorrhoid operation he or she may lose control on the sphincter and may keep passing motion inadvertently that is completely wrong all the precautions and safety measures are on and an experienced surgeon will never actually damage the sphincter the lower mechanism wherein the motion is held this mechanism is never disturbed and therefore a good experienced surgeon will do the most correct operation and this kind of a complication is almost unheard of and therefore my request to all my patients is that if he or she you your friend near or dear ones are suffering from this problem please come forward get yourself examined and also get yourself treated mind well a bleeding per rectum what we call as can also be a very significant symptom in patients of rectal cancer and therefore we should not be taking this symptoms very lying down we should be quick to visit our nearest doctor or clinician take his or her opinion and get treated quickly for all the details regarding all our operations which we do the procedures which we do our website is on wherein you have all the information it is www.drchetanmahajan.com you can also contact my helpline number which is 77997322222 remember piles is not dangerous in fact we at our center know how to turn piles into all smiles thank you